Welcome to the latest What Happens Next puzzle. I'm going to take you through a recent game and then stop at a critical moment and then you'll have to decide what happens next. Now the game I'm looking at here is from the recent Russian Women's Championship between the eventual winner, Natalia Pogonina, and Valentina Gunina, who's the current European Women's Champion. So two strong opponents and we join the game in the middle of a, a pretty hot middle game. You can see that white Poganina is attacking down the G-file and those looks, rooks look pretty threatening. Let me just clear that from the board. In fact, the game is very similar to a, a recent uh, game between Karyakin and Grushuk in which Karyakin won a, won a very nice attack, but in this game I think Gunina defend, defends far better than Grishuk. Okay, let's see what happens. Poganina played knight to d2. Now this looks very dangerous indeed. The knight is swinging over to the king side. There seems to be no real counterplay on the c-file. This bishop locks the queen side very well indeed. So black looks in real trouble here, but Gunina found a very good defense indeed. First of all, pawn takes pawn. Now if rook takes pawn, then you can see the knight settles on f5 beautifully and holds everything together, so that wouldn't be too good. So going back to this position, white has to play pawn takes pawn, which looks terribly strong with these pawns here. But in fact, Black is doing fine here. G5, what an excellent counter this is. And the point is that if the knight comes over to f3, then pawn takes pawn, the queen has to move backwards, and then the bishop can just hold everything together. And the g file is closed. So let's just move backwards. So after g5, well, and of course, if pawn takes pawn, well, black can play either pawn takes or bishop takes uh, with an excellent defensive position. So instead, Poganina chose to sacrifice pawn with f5, a very sharp continuation. And after pawn takes e6, and then pawn takes pawn. So this keeps chances alive on the g file. And remember, that knight can still swing over to f3. But now Gunida def defended very well and carefully scooped up these pawns and the struggle is really reaching boiling point here. Let's just go on a couple of moves. Now Poganina has, has won a piece but obviously Black, Black's counter-attack is in full flow. This bishop doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. There's a nasty pin here. These pawns block out white's heavy pieces and I think if white defends passively here then well for example with one of the rooks coming over then black can always add pressure to the knight on f3 and you know this pin could be fatal for white. So Poganina took the decision to act boldly. I can imagine with such a tense game as this that both players were in extreme time pressure and she chose to sacrifice the knight back with knight takes pawn. Of course if rook takes queen check then knight takes also check and then we play knight takes queen so that would be good for white. So after knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes g5, and we have a critical moment in the game. King is in check, white's heavy pieces have suddenly entered the game, and black has to decide what to do. Okay, and here is where I'm going to offer you two choices. You can either play king f7, or you can play 
king f8. Those are your two choices. What would you play here? Would you play either king f7 or king f8? Once the video stops, you'll see on the screen two buttons and click on the move that you would like to play, either king f7 or king f8. The best of luck.